the journey of inner self it's a beautiful journey if anyone has started this journey that person should have the understanding of its completeness if we ask a question to ourselves that what causes pain in our heart mostly the answer we get is the outside situations the persons who uh, with whom we are connected and the circumstances the events all these things definitely definitely this is the first reason of causing pain or uh, we experience pain if something happens which happens not according to our wish which happens not according to our plan which happens not the way we want it to be happened that circumstance or that event generally caused pain in us now we have to understand it very clearly that whoever the person is whatever the circumstances is we can't control anyone except our own self we can't change anyone's mind we can't change anyone's perspective behavior or anything except our own self not even our own child uh, whom we give birth even we don't have any control over that child also even though that child belongs to me at uh, or that uh, completely comes out from me still we don't have the control over that particular entity even we can't uh, control uh, the thoughts and the belief system mostly which is happening within ourselves even we can't most time mostly we can't control we don't have control over our thoughts over our emotions even it happens also uh, though you can control it by practicing it but it is 100% sure that you can't control anyone else except your own self neither any circumstances nor nor any person nothing so when we have the understanding of this particular thing then it's very easy for us to understand how we will deal the pain or how we will deal uh, some bitter uh, uh, emotions or some bitterness when we faced in our life to understand this thing first of all we have to understand the engineering of our life okay we can say this is the metaphysical activity or metaphysical uh, being okay human being is made up of most important three aspects soul mind body as i discussed this thing in earlier video soul is something which is very very difficult to uh, uh, explain because it can't be explained it can be only experienced so i will come it in a later stage first of all we have to understand the functions of our mi mind and the functions of our body first and foremost important thing that anything anything in this universe first created in our mind then it comes to the reality okay anything anything which uh, that's happened any kind of decisions any kind of incidents any kind of anything anything means anything that first we create in our mind then it comes to the reality even when we see a movie when we go to a theater and we watch a movie and if we analyze this thing how the movie uh created or how the movie uh just uh, uh completed its journey the first stage of the movie is a thought a thought came in a writer's mind first of all the write write up movie story what is the base of the movie the story line of the movie how the story came into reality 
first a thought whatever may be the thought is crime movie action thriller love romance anything any kind of theme first that thought came into the mind of the writer then the writer uh, uh, just uh, narrate it uh, first of all he has the overall uh, idea of that particular concept that particular story in his mind then he started writing he complete the script he has completed the script when everything has been completed then that story converted into a movie and there is a lots of other things direction and all those things actors and all those things that is the different uh, different thing to discuss but i just want to explain that anything which happens in our life first it came in our mind it came in our thoughts then we put it into action and then it becomes the reality of our life so what is the most important thing of anything beyond it that is the thought the thought which uh, uh which took place or which uh, get birth in our in our mind so mind is the thing mind i want to say simply mind mind is the thing which is the core of all happiness all sorrow all pain all kind of miseries after that it came into the reality so uh, mind has a very big big role in our life any kind of obsessive thinking any kind of uh, stress anxiety depression any kind of anything which gives us pain not physical pain which gives us mental trauma most of our, in most of our life mostly people are suffered with the mental traumas not the physical pain not kind of physical uh, injuries okay physical injuries also can be healed if we mentally we heal it first so any kind of pain is caused in our mind first then it affects our body so mind is the core of everything and mind is something which is continuously continuously processing continuously moving uh, and uh, most um, in most of the cases when the stress when when someone is going through stress tension anxiety or any kind uh, anything which is not a good experience what happens that person's mind a thought is continuously roaming the person's head a person can't stop that even the person wants to stop that the person is unable to stop that this is the power of mind you can say or this is the this mind can be your best friend uh, your guide this mind can be in your enemy also you need not to have any other enemy in this world your mind is in your own enemy it make strategies it makes planning it makes pain it it makes doubtness it makes everything 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 is just going in this head in this mind okay so first of all we have to understand that the root cause of any kind of pain the root cause or cause of any kind of difficulties is our mind if we don't know what is the disease what is the root cause of the disease how we will treat it okay so it's impossible to treat it na so first of all we have to understand what is the root cause of our disease or what is the root cause of our pain our anxiety depression the answer is very simple the mind now we have to understand that how we can cure it how we can get rid of it how we can solve this problem okay so we have to understand just to solve the problem of this thing we have to use such a medicine which can relieve the pain or which can completely dissolve it we all know that we generally we use two kind of medicine two or three kind of medicine one is allopathy and one is homeopathy and ayurveda and all those things are also there but mostly two uh, if we divide this in two part allopathic and homeopathic and in allopathic medicine what happens we understand the disease then we gen- we use a uh, medicine which instantly relieve the pain but the if the treatment is not uh, going for a long or uh, the proper uh, doctor has not prescribed the proper medicine then it will not cure it will relieve for few hours or few days then again it comes back to you so similar happens in our in our life also when anything causes pain in our mind what we usually do we want to divert our mind in something else we want to uh, we as we are unable to stop that thought unable to stop that 
worry or stop that particular uh, thing which is playing in our mind we can't stop it we, immediately we switched it off to something else and we thought that that will release my pain or that will uh, uh, that will uh, help uh, help me to get rid of this but here we do, here we do a great mistake we have to understand that if we are suffering from a stomach ache we can't take uh like uh, a paracetamol or we can't take uh, saridon we we can't take something else if we are suffering from stomach ache everything is pain reliever brufen is also a pain reliever saridon is also a pain reliever and uh, like uh, uh, all things others like uh, in arthritis and all those things what we use those kind of bombs everything is pain reliever but each and every pain reliever has its has its definite function if we are suffering from stomach ache then we have to take the pill of stomach ache if we are suffering from anything else we have to take the particular medicine we can't uh, uh, we can't took any kind of pain reliever and uh, heal it so it's a long video it's not going to possible to complete it in one video so today i just want to discuss it that if you are suffering from your if you are not if everyone 99.99% of people are suffering due to stress anxiety depression or any issues which is continuously going inside their brain or inside their mind it continuously roaming and they are unable to stop it and when they are unable to stop it then they are diverting their mind in something else but this way you can't resolve the problem of your life then how we can resolve the problem of our life or how we can be blissful or we can be able to handle any kind of situations and we will never face the stress and anxiety in our life i will discuss this in my next audio i am saying audio hopefully i am make, making a audio and then we will discuss this issue okay thanks for watching my channel and being the part of my this beautiful journey take care all of you and have a beautiful wonderful life thank you so much bye bye